was hoping you'd stay in bed. I was just bringing up your breakfast. Oh, well, that's sweet, darling, but I don't want you cooking and cleaning up after me. And I don't want you lifting a finger around here. <laughs> Cute. You like that, huh? Mm -hmm. Now, you come on over here and take the load off our baby's feet. Darren, you're going to spoil me. Well, I already spoiled your figure. I might as well spoil the rest of you. <laughs> and here we are. Orange juice for vitamin C, mm -hmm. hot cereal for protein, mm -hmm. and milk for good strong bones. And last but not least, the food most important to an expectant mother's diet, voila. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Honey, I think I've got a pretty good schedule figured out. What for? Well, to help. Oh, where are you going? For the butter. Oh, the butter. I forgot to sit down. Darren. How can I convince you that I'm perfectly capable of doing these things? I'm not an invalid. I'm just expecting. Sweetheart, I wouldn't be acting like this if you were just expecting. But we're positive. <laughs> now, you promise to take it easy. All right, Darren. If it'll make you happy, you can do all the work. But now you've got to promise me something. Anything. What? When they wheel me into the delivery room, you let me take over. <laughs> You got yourself a deal. Darren? Would you check over these layouts on the Stanwick account? Yeah, sure, Larry. Uh. <laughs> Darren? I had two eggs for lunch that look better than your eyes. <laughs> Well, I didn't get much sleep last night, Larry. <clears throat> yeah, having a baby's pretty rough on a guy. Already? Well, you just found out you were going to be a father. I know, but I... No buts, Darren. It's only rough if you let it get rough. Look, Louise just had a baby, remember? So I've been through this diaper derby. <laughs> you know, some women will pull any trick in the book if they think they can get away with it. Larry, I appreciate your interest, but there really isn't any problem. Darren. I'm only telling you this for your own good. You've got to be firm with Sam. Indifferent. You know, stop all this catering to her. Okay, Larry. After I cook dinner tonight, I'll flatly refuse to mop the floor. <laughs> Go ahead and make jokes. But I've read up on this motherhood routine. As a matter of fact, a well-known doctor's written a book on the subject. The joy of labor for labor's sake. The more active the mother, the more she does for herself, the happier she'll be and the healthier the child. Really? Well, it makes sense if you stop to think about it. You know, in the pioneer days, women used to plow the fields, have their babies during a lunch break, and go right on plowing again. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Well, take my own wife, Louise. She played around a round of golf the day before she had the baby. Golf? Of course, it ruined her backswing. <laughs> Darren, you must force yourself to be sensible. And that's just what you should do. Larry, I just couldn't. You want a happy wife, don't you? Naturally. You want a healthy child, don't you? Of course. Well, then at least try it for their sake. <laughs> Maybe I should. <laughs>